Cooking with the Vegan Zombie. Hey guys, welcome to another holiday episode of Cooking with the Vegan Zombie. Tonight, we're gonna make something really easy that you can snack on in between the main meal. We're gonna make some breaded cauliflower. All you gotta do is slice this up into thin slices like this. About half inch thick slices. I mean, you can eat it, but... We're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. You don't wanna add too much because we're basically gonna end up steaming the cauliflower first, not really frying it. So you got about a tablespoon of olive oil in there over a medium high heat. Once you get a nice hot pan, you just add it right in there. And we're gonna add a little bit of curry powder, about a teaspoon of curry powder, less than a half a teaspoon of salt, and less than a half a teaspoon of pepper. Add a pinch of parsley. Okay, add about a teaspoon of vinegar, and turn down the flame to a low heat, and then throw a top on it and let it steam for about three to four minutes. So while we're waiting for our cauliflower to cook, we're gonna get our breading mixtures ready. Very similar to what we did with our cheese sticks. You got a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of breadcrumbs, and a half a cup of soy milk. I'm actually using a garlic powder parsley blend, and I put about a tablespoon in here, and a tablespoon in here, but you can just use garlic powder and parsley flakes, whatever you have in the kitchen, really. So, our cauliflower is all ready. I got our breading stuff all ready. All we're gonna do now is get the cauliflower off the pan onto a plate, let it cool down a little bit. Mmm, you smell that, Clark? It is good. Okay, so we'll dredge it in flour first, and then soy milk, and then breadcrumbs, and voila. Don't be ashamed to use the little ones, too. They're just as delicious as these big guys. We are all breaded up and ready to go. Next step, we gotta coat this frying pan with canola oil. We just wanna coat the bottom and that's it. You can use peanut oil. We're going for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. What I like to do, if you wanna test it at home, if you, you can either stick your finger in there and burn your finger off, or just drop a little piece of breading on there and if it starts to fizzle and stuff, it's ready. All right, so now we're ready to add these guys. Put it down on me! We're gonna fry the bottom half, flip it over, fry the top half. And you're done, Matt. It takes about 45 seconds to a minute to fry each side of it. So you're talking about a two or three minute recipe. Look at that. That's what we're looking for right there. We're going for the golden brown. Looks like shrimp. Shrimp gumbo, shrimp salad, shrimp. It looks kind of like popcorn shrimp. So you know what you should do? Next family get together, you make some of this stuff up, throw it out there, put some cocktail sauce, some tartar sauce, and tell them it's shrimp and see what they say. But don't tell them I said that. Now, it's time for my favorite part of the video. The taste test. I want this one. That is delicious. Grab your favorite dipping sauce. You can use marinara sauce or barbecue sauce, ketchup, or just eat it like this. It's really good. And it's a great finger food right before that big, huge tofurkey or field roast comes out. So from all of us at the Vegan Zombie Crew, we want to wish you guys a happy holidays. And we'll see you again soon. We got a lot of videos coming up in the new year. A lot of great things happen. And we're working on a cookbook. We got some t-shirts and we got some aprons. We got a YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe to it. Don't forget to friend us on Facebook. And I'll be seeing you guys around after the holidays. So it takes real, it's, it's, it, it takes about 45 seconds to a minute to fry, to turn, to, uh,